Briggs, and this is what's happening in your community. Mural art will be going on at 1.30 p.m. in the Burnhaven Library, 1101 County Road 42 West. Another library event includes the monthly Burnhaven Book Discussion Group, which will meet tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the library. For more information on these events and more, call 952-891-0300. A show featuring the quilting work of the Minnesota Contemporary Quilter Show will run until July 15th at the Lakeville Area Art Center, 20965 Hollyoke Avenue in Lakeville. Minnesota Contemporary Quilters is a creative group of amateur and professional sewers who enjoy making quilts of original design or feature unusual fabrics in traditional patterns. Members have a broad range of interests including surface design, textile dyeing, doll making, wearable art, and more. Art Center's hours of operations are 8 to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, 8 to 8 p.m. Wednesdays. For more information on the exhibit, you can call 952-985-4640. Mostly cloudy, 50% chance of rain, and slight chance of storms. Lows around 60. Tomorrow is cooler, cloudy with a 60% chance of rain. Thunderstorms are likely, highs around 70. Pink Cow Ice Cream is truly a family affair for the Sadoff family of Burnsville. Lisa Sadoff and eldest daughter Allie, 12, started the mobile ice cream business Memorial Day weekend, bringing pre-wrapped ice cream goodies to neighborhoods in Burnsville and Lakeville. Let's take a look. <laughs> Lisa Sadoff and eldest daughter Allie 12 of Burnsville have started the mobile ice cream business Memorial Day weekend. The two have been working on the project since the beginning of the year, including getting a van. Got the van from a place in Shakopee that has all kinds of used cargo vans, fleet vans. I think it was a formerly a Quest van, so there was a lot of stuff that had to be taken off, ladder racks and that kind of thing. So okay. we first we stripped it down and then the um, Pink Cow Graphics are a wrap. <laughs> this is the freezer and when we have it at home, we keep it plugged in. But in the car it's plugged into like an inverter, which connects to the engine. And then we just keep the money for change and spoons and everything over here. This is our window that opens and my dad built it and it's just kind of so we can open it because the old one didn't open at all. It's just called a music box for an ice cream truck and it does music and it's got some alarm sounds and then the animal sounds. For Sun Current and Sun Newspapers, I'm Stephanie Briggs. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow.